Good morning. It is Wednesday, April 22nd, and I am back here again with bed talk number 25. As you've seen, if you've seen these before, this all was inspired by a friend and fellow speaker of mine, Dave Rendell. The idea being that us speakers who are not on the road, not on the stage, certainly not right now delivering TED Talks, we can share a message every morning from bed. Thus, the bed talk, an idea, a thought, maybe just a shift in your perspective or a reminder. Today's topic is a question. Are you paying attention? I was on a kind of happy hour of sorts last night with some friends of mine back in Cleveland, where I used to live, my, my cigar smoking group. And we typically get together from 6.30 till at least 10. And I scheduled this call last night from 6.30 till whenever. And I told a couple people about it and they said, oh my God, I could never be on a Zoom call that long. And we did go. We went from 6.30 till almost 10.30 last night. A few people came in and out, but it was definitely not the same as being together but it was better than not seeing each other at all and way better than just a phone call because we got to see each other. We got to share in that visual experience, even though only three or four of us were smoking cigars. So here's the thing that came up on the call last night. We were talking about what will these times look like when we start to come out of the coronavirus, all the restrictions and limitations. And some concern is that we will start relying too heavily on technology. Zoom will start replacing face-to-face -face meetings. And I think we all agree that it's up to us, each one of us, to resist that urge to replace and instead use it as an addition. So we can do the Zoom with people who are far distant. We certainly all agree it'll probably impact travel, especially business travel. But we have an opportunity to take all the really good things about Zoom or similar technology and carry it forward. And someone brought up a really interesting point last night, which brings me to the question of, are you paying attention? And what they pointed out is, we are now having a unique opportunity to connect even more deeply in some ways because of Zoom and because most people are working from home. Because when we're on a Zoom call with someone at home, we get to experience a part of who they are and their home and their life. When the dog jumps into the picture, we typically look at that as, oh, it's an interruption. Or the child or the teenager comes in and asks a question. We see those often as interruptions, but they're really insights into a person's life. Think about what they have around them, what, you know, what room they might be in, what if they've got their kitchen in the background, or what their view is, or even what they're wearing. Yesterday I was on a call, and the person I was talking to was in her, happened to be in her kitchen area, like the dining room table, dressed very casually, as was I. And during the call, she said, I hope you don't mind that I'm dressed casually. I said, absolutely not, I am too. And she said, <coughs> excuse me, she said, well, I've got my horse clothes on. And that led to a discussion about her interest in horses and the fact that she has, um, I think, four horses that she keeps and she's got a horse barn and she lives in the country. And a lot of that might not have come up if we hadn't been doing this in a different way, more casually. Having those conversations, those insights, those views into people's lives. So from now on, when you're doing these Zooms, mostly with people who are staying at home, take a look beyond the conversation. What do you see? What do you see happening? Ask some questions about their home and not just about their home, but you'll find that you're learning more about who they are that often doesn't come up in a conversation when we're having a face-to-face. -face. And it certainly we don't have the visible clues. So pay attention to the visible clues and learn more about the person you're interacting with and find ways to connect more deeply and more personally. So I will be back tomorrow. Have a great day and stay safe and blessed.